in linear search right i have written a program to finding the maximum and minimum element with straight min max technique right so in this algorithm which we are looking on the screen this algorithm right so to find minimum and maximum element it will take order of n time right even if array is sorted also then also it will take order of n time because of this for loop right so today we will discuss how to optimize this thing when the array input is yeah input is sorted right so let's consider a array sorted array right say i have a array saying 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 so these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 elements right so how this binary search works first we will find out middle element right that we name as mid right so if we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 right so if it is starting from 1 to 7 right if i am starting the array from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so middle will be 1 plus 7 divided by 2 right the integer value right in algorithm we treat it as floor floor value right so what the algorithm is basic idea of algorithm we will divide our array in two parts right from starting to middle right and then from mid plus 1 to last element right this is start element to last element right then recursively we will keep on doing the same thing right and we will try to search our element and then we will judge how much time it is taking whether it is lesser than order of n or is it equal to order of n right because in straight min max it was taking order of n time right to find maximum element or minimum element or any element anyway right so in binary search we are searching not maximum minimum any element right so the basic funda is we will divide the array into middle right and from starting to middle we will apply one algorithm from middle plus one to last also we will apply one algorithm so first of all what what i will do i will directly write the algorithm and then i will explain right so this is the pseudo code binary search a is starting element a is name of array i and j starting and element or say we are searching element x right so one thing we should consider when we are inputting an array right if it is having only one element right then we need not do binary search we need not search in it because that element if it is present then you should return it is present if it is not present then you should return it is not present right so that condition first i am writing if i equal equal to j what i and j are i is starting element j is end element mid is the way i plus j by 2 right if i equal equal to j that means there is only one element in the algorithm in the input right so then what we will do if a of i means if it is only one element and if a of i equal to x and the element is which we have searched x is the element which we are searching in the algorithm right so element to be searched right then what you have to return if it is present then return the position of element return i right means at this position this element is present right and if it is not then you can return minus 1 minus 1 is the in the case where that means el element is not present in the array right so this is for this if block right so this is for if if there is only one element and you are searching that element if it is present then you can return it is present the position of that element if it is not present then you can return it is not present in the array right so else so else part is major right in here your main algorithm works right else first of all find mid middle of the array i being first element of the array j means second i plus j by 2 right so consider it as integer declared as integer if you want to write algorithmic wise we will use floor values right 
lower values, right? If it is int, it will automatically take lower value. Then, then we will check if a of mid, right? If a of mid is equal to equal to x, means when you have divided and that element is present as mid element, right? If that is present, right? Then return mid, return mid, right? What I mean to say, you divided an array, or say it is fourth, right? So one, two, three, four. If you are searching this element, right, forty, it will you will directly get in one iteration, right? If it is present, then do this. This is un inside else, right? And if it is not present, means else of this if, right? In DSA series, I will be writing code also. This is first we are, I am explaining the algorithm, right? Else, if x, the element you are searching, if it is less than a of mid, right? Means, if it is less than a of mid, that means, since array is sorted, if our search element is less than, that means it is on this side, right? If it is in this side, then you have to traverse one part of array right then you have to traverse one part of array same name right recursive algorithm i am writing so if this is the case binary search start with array name i and till mid minus one and the element search means i have recursively called the same algorithm means if it is on left side what i have done i have reduced the size right search in left part then right and if it is not in there, that means that element should be greater than that, right? Right part, then what we will do? Else, else, binary search, right? Else, binary search, array name, now mid plus one. Start from mid plus one, reach till end of the array and search that element, right? And this is how you are complete else will be returned right and if it is not present someone might say okay, sir if it is not present then where it is going actually this is a recursive call if it is not present then automatically it will go here in here in this part of code automatically it will return minus one so this is the basic idea of binary search right this is how we write a binary search algorithm so then more importantly what all these things are there are complexity involved which we are very much interested right so this is the basic algorithm have a look at time complexity of binary search algorithm say this binary search is taking t and time right to execute so t n is time complexity of binary search with n elements time complexity of binary search with n elements so say this is taking t and time if there is one only one element it will take order of one time right to divide an array it will take order of one time and then to find out mid some constant time is this is also some order of one right so i will take it as some constant time for all these things right now if your, our element is less than mid then we will go to this part if I, our element is greater than mid then we will go to this part means either one of them we will choose and since it is mid, then this will be t of n by 2 and this also will be t of n by 2, right? So the way we write rec recurrence relation is time complexity is 1 if number of element are 1 only. And it will be t of n by 2 plus some constant time if number of elements are greater than 1. Means either we will go on if part or we will go to else part, right? So we will solve else part to get the time complexity t of n by 2 plus c right so if we want to write t of n by 2 right so that's how we will write t of n by 2 replace n by n by 2 right so t of n by 2 will become t of n by 2 square if we put n by 2 here right so it n by 2 and this c if we back substitute it here so this will become t of n is equal to t of n by 2 square plus this c and the old c right plus 2 c means in two steps this will become t of n t of n by 2 square plus 2 c so say if we are doing it k times 
and we say n by 2 raised to power k is equal to 1 means by doing it k times we have searched the element then this will become n is equal to 2 raised to power k log to the base 2 n is equal to k times right log to the base 2 is to 2 so this k times right so when we write it k times this will become t of n is equal to t of n by 2 raised to power k plus k times of c since it was second time so two times so for k times it is k times of c right so now i will replace this k with log n right yeah n by 2 k will become 1 and this k will become log n right log to the base 2 n into c so time complexity of binary search right i will write it here so time complexity because t of 1 is 1 only right with first step right? this one only of binary search is order of log this is very important so what we have proved by this is binary search will work better in the case of sorted array right state min max right stately finding some element right state min max or sta stately finding some element in an, an algorithm will take order of n time right even if array is sorted also right but binary search because if we are searching last element it will take worst case we are saying in binary search in worst case also it will take order of log n time and we all know log n is smaller than n right that's why we are very much in interested in it right now best case of binary search is order of one right if we get element at middle itself then this will be called best case of binary search right and this is average case and worst case also so that's why this algorithm is that much popular fine we'll see the code implementation in data structure series